Hey there, it's John from Heroes and Legends. Today I have a booster box of Elders Moon to open up now. Um, it's been a week since the product was released. Unfortunately, it took me a little, a little while to get my boxes shipped to me, so uh, I would have liked to have these a little earlier. But I did open a fat pack last week. Today I'm going to go ahead and open the box. So here's the plan for this box. First off, let me tell you, I'm going to open the full box um, because I think that's just probably a better use of our time. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Secondly, uh, you are going to see values, again, take it with a grain of salt, I and mean, that was just released a week ago, so a lot of things will probably drop in value, uh, but we will look at values for the rares and the foils and any notable uncommons if there are any, and we'll do that at the end of the video and as we open the packs. Um, however, something special with Elder's Moon that I did want to call out was if you haven't heard yet, there's been a little bit of an issue with the collation of this set. Now it turns out English language versions of this set, at least for non-transform mythic cards, they're showing up in the same package art for any given case. So in other words, you see the three pieces of art here on the camera. Uh, if I open, say, the Liliana pack and I find a non-transform mythic, it probably means for the most part, all my other mythics are gonna be in Liliana packs and not in the other two. So we're gonna test that. Uh, some other folks have tested it. it, seems to be working out. So first thing I'm gonna do, which is a little unusual from what I normally do, I'm gonna sort these out into piles based on the art depiction on the package. And we're gonna see if this works. I have a feeling it will from what I've been seeing. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just kind of take turns going through the three stacks, opening the different packs. I'll flash the pack up to show you which one I'm opening and we'll see what happens. And just take a second to sort the rest of these out. Once I hit a mythic, what I'll do is I'll leave that stack and I'll just go ahead and open cards from the other two stacks and hopefully not hit a mythic and then save the mythics for the end. Okay, so we have our three pa three piles of packs here. Um, got the werewolf, Liliana, Tamio. Okay, so let's get started and see what happens if I don't knock over the camera. All right, we're gonna start off uh, with this pack here and uh, let's get cracking.
All right, let's talk about financials first. Pretty good box. Now I paid $85 for it. Retail price though would have been $143.64. The value of the box was $122.67. Now keep in mind that's counting the rares and the foils. However, anytime you try to sell a rare foil that's under probably three, four dollars, it's gonna be really hard to recoup your cost. So the value realistically is probably a lot less than that. However, we are up $37.67. If we bought this for retail price, however, it would be down $20.97. Now let's talk about collation. As you saw in the video, all of our Mythic Rares fell under the Liliana packs. I opened the first few packs till I found my first Mythic. It was Liliana the Last Hope, great pull. It was in a Liliana pack. So at that point, I pushed those to the side, opened all the other packs, got no mythics went back to the Liliana packs at the end found three more mythics if I wanted to I could simply give that first mythic hold on to those other packs open them get my mythics out of them and just sell all the other booster packs if I wanted to do something like that so be very very cautious if you're buying packs of Eldritch Moon in general I always give the advice don't buy loose packs all boxes can be mapped this just can be mapped incredibly easily. Even if you trust your LGS and your LGS owner, doesn't mean all the employees are on the up and up. I've seen that many times where I've seen good LGSs, good owners that wouldn't ever think of doing anything like that, but they have an employee that can either search packs, box, box map, and either buy the packs for themselves or have their friends buy packs. And it's kind of sad, but it does happen. The only thing you can really trust is sealed booster products. So, uh, Booster box that's sealed is fine, or if you see it open and you're able to choose your packs, that's also fine too. I'm curious to hear from anyone if they've experienced any issues in limited play at stores, if anyone's had to try to perhaps randomize the packs or something like that. Let me know in the comments below, but until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks as always for watching. This video, like all my videos, was made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Even a donation of a dollar helps me to keep growing this community and creating better quality videos for all of you. Check out our Patreon page for exclusive giveaways and future goals for the channel. If you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the MTG news, spoilers, set reviews, product openings, or finance videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a good day.